Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mufida and I would like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel. Also click on the bell notification button so you get notified each time I post. Today I'm going to be showing you guys five of my favorite red lipsticks. It's going to be a mixture of affordable and high end and these lipsticks are very very wearable for almost all skin tones especially for people of color. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to do a an ombre red lip just like what I have on my lip right now so if you want to see how this video goes down carry on watching and let's just get right into it <laughs> are gonna start off with the Maybelline Pioneer it's like a true red lipstick and it looks so 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 good I got this quite recently and I just really really love how it looks so we're gonna go on and apply it I also really love the applicator on this one As you can see this really looks good it looks good even without a brown lip liner I love how bold it is it's more on it's not like a blue red it's like a true red in my opinion and it just looks really bomb on my skin tone and I feel like it's gonna look bomb on a lot of skin tones as well one plus about this um, lipstick is that it is affordable and it is matte and it stays very very long if you know about the Maybelline super stay matte ink lipsticks like they stay so long they are smudge proof I filmed a video featuring the Maybelline super stay matte ink lipsticks I think a few months ago and I really really loved those shades I would link that video above they are also in the red spicy color category so if you want to see that video I would link it above for you guys to check out but this is called pioneer and it's so so great I literally did not even line my lips I didn't line my lips and it just looks really 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 good so this is what pioneer looks like Another affordable lipstick I want to show to you guys is the NYX Shine Loud lipstick. This is in the shade on a mission and it looks like this. This one is quite new. I really love it because it's affordable and it also comes with a gloss. So that is like a plus. So for my girls who like a glossy bold lip, this one is for you. So I'm just going to apply that on my lip for you guys to see. It's literally like a very, very nice red color I also really love the applicator on this one So this is how this one looks. It looks so good. Again, I didn't use a lip liner because I want you guys to see the real shade of it. I really, really love it. It's more of an orange toned red in my opinion. It's not a true, true red and it's not a blue red, but it just looks really, really, really good. And it's also on the affordable side. So I'm going to show you guys how I would rock it with a gloss. So I'm just going to put it all over my lip. This one again is a smudge proof formula and it just looks so freaking good. I just love this applicator, the brush and make sure that the lip doesn't move. It looks so good as you can see it's glossy and it's not sticky it literally just gives it a shine it doesn't smudge I've used it on a client before and it literally didn't smudge the gloss doesn't break anything apart it just stays on the lip and maybe if the gloss like dies down a little bit you can just go on with a little bit more gloss the glossy part is clear so you literally just have to go on and just apply it on the lip and it looks so good this is the shade on a mission from NYX cosmetics Thank you. 
So the next lipstick is an oldie but a goodie. This is the MAC Ruby Matte. This is a retro matte lipstick. It's a blue red. It's literally the perfect red for a lot of skin tones. There was a time where I used to see my mom wear this all the time. My older sisters wear this all the time. And in fact, my first red lipstick was Ruby Woo. My sister gifted it to me. I was crazy about it then. I wear it every now and then but not as often because I have other red lipsticks that I just just love to wear more and this is so 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 bomb so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my lip So this is how Ruby Woo looks. It's legit one of the most talked about lipsticks <laughs> in the makeup world. And it's just like a standard. It's so pretty. This is the perfect blue red. It's also in fact looks like the Fenty Beauty standard lip paint in the shade Uncensored. And it's so, 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 so bomb. Unfortunately, I cannot find my Fenty standard lip paint in the shade Uncensored. So this kind of looks like it. They are both blue reds and it just this looks really 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 good in fact it makes your teeth look whiter than they actually are that's what I've realized so this is Ruby Woo from MAC So another red lipstick I adore is from Colored Rain. This is the shade Cherry Blossom. It's also a matte lipstick, but they have the shade in a lip lacquer, which is more of a glossy look. It's not dry down matte. This lipstick is so bomb. I love it so much. I've worn it so many times. I've used it in so many tutorials and I always get compliments every time I wear it out. It's so, 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 so bomb. It's more of a dark red and it's just like really, really, really pretty especially for my darker queens you guys should definitely get your hands on this one the formula is amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that one for you guys to see So this is what Cherry Blossom from Colored Rain looks like. It's the perfect red lip in my opinion. I know I've said it's the perfect red lip about every lipstick here, but I'm showing you guys the red lipsticks that I've tried and I know are literally perfect. You really don't even need to line your lips and the formula is so bomb. It's like a powdery matte and it's really, really comfortable on the lip. That's what's important to me about how comfortable it is because red lipsticks are my favorite type of lipsticks. This is one of my favorite red lipsticks. I've had it for a very long time i've convinced my older sister to get it she's slightly darker than me and it looks really really bomb on hair as well so i would suggest that you go ahead and invest in this lipstick it is on the pricier side not the very pricier side it's kind of intermediate in comparison with the nyx and the maybelline that i showed earlier but this lipstick really really looks good Okay guys, this is a much more recent purchase and I definitely do not regret getting it. I love this lipstick. It's really, really pretty. You really don't even need a lip liner with this one. This is from the Lip Bar and it's in the shade Balls Lady. I really love the packaging. I also love the wand of this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it for you guys to see. You see how red it is? It's like a dark red. It's more on the brown, dark red side. And the wand is literally very perfect to maneuver around the lip. So this is what it looks like. This is also a matte lipstick and it's a comfortable matte. 
it dries down very fast and you do not need a lip liner to use it so it looks so good it looks so bomb it will go so great with sultry night looks or if you are in a nine-to-five job and you want to be like do like the bold lipstick but not too bold not too bright this is literally perfect it's a little bit on the pricey side I think it's in the same price range as the colored rain lipstick so this is what it looks like I'm gonna show you guys how to do the perfect ombre. All you need is a dark brown lip liner. This is from NYX, it's in the shade Espresso. So I'm gonna use that to line the perimeter of my lip. You want to go right above your cupid's bow when you're aligning this side and then you want to do this to your lip now what you want to do is i'm using my davis cosmetics lipstick you want to go in this part Like literally the inner corners, like here and then here, like right here. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but okay, do you see what I did over here? So you want to do the same to this side. You can actually use the same lip liner that you used to line your lips to do that. I am just being extra, so yeah. I'm gonna go in with my, I feel like I haven't used the Ruby Woo in a long time, so I'm gonna use the Ruby Woo. I'm gonna put that at the center. Afterwards, you just want to go into the center of the lip and then literally just pat the lipstick in there so that it has the ombre effect. Using the lipsticks with ones is definitely easier. I wanted to use this one so you guys can see exactly how to work around using your lipsticks. You definitely don't want to go out and get all these. If you have just one red lipstick, this is how to wear it ombre. So you use a dark lip liner and then you put your lipstick in the center of it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell notification down below to get notified each time I post also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i'll see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching bye guys